So I guess we, we did a bit of a scope of the market to see what entrepreneurs need. And Alpha Code is a collection of all those attributes. It, it, it's an enabler and it's a facilitator for new entrepreneurs in financial services. And it brings together elements such as services, mentorship, introduction to our associate companies, uh, obviously the premises itself, interaction with other entrepreneurs. So it's the collective of all the, all the things that we think, or hopefully most of the things that we hope entrepreneurs need to actually succeed in, in building a new business. And we, we house that in the concept of a club, and we then uh, use that similarly to, to other uh, parts of our group to, to identify investments that we may want to make. But Alpha Code itself is an enabler, and RMI may invest in some of the companies to the extent that it is an opportunity for us to do so, may invest in some of the opportunities that come through Alpha Code. But in itself, it's an enabler for startups. It's uh, through introduction, so I guess it's, uh, it's through conversation with other members, it's through conversation with, with RMI, and then understanding also what the entrepreneur needs, but more importantly what we can, what we can contribute to it. Uh, we would love to, to, to house as many as possible, but obviously there are, there are uh, parameters around the metrics that we can control and, and uh, which are not totally scalable. But we would like to, to house as many people we can to, to see the, whether new businesses can be generated. So the, the model that we've been running for decades, I guess, is this combination of, of three things. It's, uh, it's the attributes that, that, that RMI has, but more importantly, how to put those attributes in partnership with the entrepreneur. So it's the, the triangle between ourselves and the entrepreneur, and there we're looking for people with uniqueness, creativity, tenacity, uh, certain drive, the ability to, to want to and be able to work with a partner such as ourselves. So we, we put those two partners in, a, in, a, in, a, in an association, but then obviously we need to apply it to a business concept. We start by categorizing the market. We know that there are certain pockets where we think uh, disruption is possible and is, is, is easier than, than in others. And we then hope that the entrepreneur is, has the ability to play into some of those white spaces or business, business um, parts that we want to, want to start competing in. So I guess on the, on the negative side, it's, uh, it takes a lot of time or a long time to build a business. And that in itself implies capital, implies patience. So time is an obstacle. Um, bravery is, a, is another obstacle or your ability to take risk in, a, in, in whether it's in a financial or a career or just in a, in a psychological way, the risk is, is, is big on, on startup businesses. We also have a psychology and a sort of a bit of a bias in South Africa against failures, whereas somewhere else in the world, failures are almost seen as, as teachings or learnings. Here we see that as a, as a bit of a failing, so I guess we have a selection bias as far as that is concerned. In financial services specifically, you have the added, uh, added benefit or the added negative of cost of regulation, cost of compliance, so you have to have critical mass. And critical mass is achieved by selling products. Now to sell products, distribution is needed. And you either need to go direct where you need a strong brand, or you need to, to go through an intermediary market, which, as you know, takes a lot of time and effort to, to build. So there, there are quite a few obstacles and hurdles. We, we hope as RMI that we can overcome or assist to overcome some of them. We can bridge capital, we can bridge time, we're patient. Uh, we can provide the support, the introduction to the network. So we hope we can bridge some of the negatives. Some of the positives, however, are very exciting. We think that we have a great supply of smart people, hardworking, uh, well-educated, creative, enterprising. So we have a, a good supply of the right type of entrepreneur. And we then apply it into a market which, for all the reasons I've just mentioned being quite competitive, has some protection around it. It has due political protection. It has the protection that the typical uh, global market entrepreneurs are not going to attack South Africa first. It's a relatively small market. It is relatively isolated. 
Um, but those things work in our favor in a certain extent. If you can play in South Africa, which is relatively sophisticated as far as financial services is concerned, you can, you can quite easily do an uh, adopt and adapt strategy by what you see elsewhere, bring that in and changing it for the South African environment. So we see all the negatives, yes, of course they exist. But on the other hand, we have the raw material of, of enterprising people that should be over, uh, able to overcome that. So the answer has to be yes. Uh, we are financial investors and we promise total shareholder return to our shareholders. So we have to consider all options for our, for our portfolio. Having said that, that's never the mindset. The mindset is buy and hold. We love what we have. We, we love the relationship we have with our CEOs and we're constantly trying to improve the, the underlying businesses with it, obviously in partnership with, with the management team. So the, the answer clinically has to be yes, but that's not the, 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 the starting point.